What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here. So welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. I know that before I actually had said that I wasn't for sure if I was going to actually have a video up for you guys on Wednesday because at the time that I put out that tweet, I really wasn't feeling up to it. But now I am. I'm feeling a lot better and I decided to record a video for you guys. So I do want to address that I did get a comment actually on one of my older videos where I did talk about the app Comixology, which is a application that is out for Amazon. And I talked about that app because it was an app at the time that I had been using to read manga on. As many of you guys know, I read more of my, more of my manga digitally than I do actual like physical copies of manga. And I had talked about basically what the app basically looked like, my review pretty much on the app, and if I recommended it to people, as well as like what the cost was to use said app. Now, since then, I don't, I no longer actually use the Comixology app, not because the app is terrible, but because I was at the time, uh, financially was just like going through apps that I wasn't using. And I realized that Comixology was an app that at that time I wasn't using as frequently as I used to before. So I basically stopped my subscription at that point in time. But on a comment on one of my videos where I talked about Comixology, someone actually has said that Comixology has changed and that pretty much they felt like I should do an updated review about it due to the changes that Amazon basically has done. So pretty much what the comment pretty much said, which I will basically read for you guys so that you guys basically know what was actually said. It said, might want to do another video now that Amazon has shut down the original site and basically ruined the service for a lot of readers. So I decided to do some investigation into what changes have actually happened with Comixology. And I personally, when I went, I did do the online shop, like the web version. I didn't go through the app because I wasn't for sure if I actually could really explore the app since I didn't have a subscription with them anymore. So I first did through the web service or through the website and pretty much what immediately popped up was a pop-up that basically explained the changes that were happening with Comixology that took place in February of 2022. So basically this month. So I'm assuming that the changes happened on February 1st. And at the time of recording this video, it is now February 22nd, which happy to 22. 2022 <laughs> but anyway basically all the changes that i was able to actually find was that basically what they did was they combined the amazon kindle kindle store which of course their kindle is their device that they have that you can read books on as well as the uh, comiXology store basically together so they no longer made it a separate site or two separate sites and basically just combined it into one and from what i could see from the website I honestly thought it was a little bit easier for me to actually use. Now this isn't with me like clicking on manga and reading through it or anything else like that. I was basically just going based off of the UI experience that I was seeing on the web version of the Comixology site. And pretty much it had like at the top where it said like books, manga and like comics and stuff like that and it was very easy for me to get to the comics portion so from there i really didn't see any changes or any issues that were really going to make it difficult for someone who has used the site before to be able to like not be able to read manga on there like how i was before now, next I went to actually explore the Comixology app itself. And surprisingly, even without a subscription, I was actually still able to sign in and explore the site just like how it was before. The only difference was because I didn't have the Comixology unlimited subscription that I actually couldn't not like, well, read or download a lot of the manga that were listed under the Comixology Unlimited subscription. But I could read the ones that were under Prime Unlimited because of the fact, or Prime or Amazon Prime, however they have it phrased, because I do have Amazon Prime. So I basically explored the app and it looked pretty much the same. The only thing I can say that I feel like might be a little bit much more difficult, which I'm not for sure if this is just user error or because of the fact that things have changed with the app, and that is that I wasn't able to get to where it just listed just manga. And before there was a way that I was able to do that, but now it seems like that has kind of changed. So maybe that's what this person meant as far as the experience has changed for readers. But for me personally, once again, I don't know if that was just for me as a user experience because I haven't used the app in such a long time or if that's just due to the changes that Amazon has made. 
Now, as far as the other the changes that Amazon has made for me to basically explain what that change meant, that they combined both the Amazon Kindle store and Comixology together, they basically made it where like, if you have the Amazon Kindle app, you can also read your comics or manga on that exact same app. So basically before they had two separate apps, the Kindle app and the Comixology app. And obviously they served two very different purposes. So what Amazon basically decided to do was basically to combine those apps into one so that you basically can interchangeably use both apps without using your place. So. What this basically means is that if you start a manga on the Comixology app and you also download it onto your Kindle app or it's already downloaded there, wherever you stop on the Comixology app, you can actually pick it right back up on the Kindle app and vice versa. So bookmarks are saved and basically it's just synced among all your devices that are signed into the same Amazon account. So overall, I personally have not seen any negative effects to these changes. Now, once again, this is coming from someone who did cancel the subscription with Comixology and has not used it for the past like four to five months. Granted, probably I will do an updated video if I ever start up my subscription again and decide to start using Comixology and if I find any actual issues with it that these changes may have caused. So once again, like I said, this is coming from someone who has stopped their subscription due to the fact that I was not using it for a period of months and decided I was no longer going to waste my $10 a month if for something that I basically wasn't using. But if I do decide to pick it up once again and I do see any weird changes that they have made that has caused the reader experience to go down then i will definitely make a new video and let you guys know what i think of the new experience with the comiXology app but overall based off of like what i could see without me having a subscription and what i could basically experience um i didn't see an issue with the app i didn't see an issue with the website i don't feel i feel like the terms that this person used that they shut down the original site probably wasn't the correct terminology to use it wasn't that they shut it down they more so just merged it with an already existing site that already existed so that people didn't feel like they had to go to two different places if they wanted to read a book or to read a comic or a manga and to me i have no issue with that i don't feel like they screwed over any of their readers but once again Again, like I, I've previously mentioned and continue to mention, this is someone that has not used the app for several months now. So who knows if the reader experience actually really has changed because once again, I'm just going based off of visually what I could see of a little investigation or a little investigating that I was able to do around on the website and on the app. So do I still recommend using Comixology? Yes, I do still recommend it. To me, it is still definitely worth the money. To me, it is worth the $10 a month you'll be able to read a lot of the manga that they have under the unlimited service, as well as to purchase some of the manga that they have on there if you're not able to purchase them from other sources, for example, on iBooks or like from your like local bookstore or however. And that's really why I recommend it. Now, I do know that some people are gonna say there are other free ways to read manga, and yes, there definitely are but some of the ways aren't exactly the most legal so to me the only best free way to actually read manga to me is to rent it from your local library or to borrow it from your from your local library which there are a lot of libraries that will let you actually borrow manga so definitely check that out at your local library but yeah overall based on the comment i have seen no issues with comiXology i still feel like a lot of people should use it i will do an updated video if i start using the service again and do find some issues with the app that i have an issue with or feel like has changed my user experience so yeah look forward to an updated video if i decide to do one if i decide to like restart my subscription which i might because i was in a manga reading slump but as of right now i'm starting to get back into the swing of things when it comes to manga so i will probably you know make another video about this topic but yeah i hope you guys like this topic and yes i'm fine i know i had someone on my other like first like last video i guess say that um I look a little bit tired. I get up at 5 a.m. every single morning with my cats and then I work for like nine hours. And then after that, I like go to bed at like eight or nine o'clock later on that night. So I probably do look tired when I record these videos it is in the afternoon. So my makeup has been on for quite a while. So yeah, I probably do look tired, but I am taking care of myself. I'm eating well. I'm sleeping great, actually, not that badly. 
<laughs> I do wake up in the middle of the night, but who doesn't? But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have links below on my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and of course, I do have a TikTok, so feel free to check me out on there as well. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll have a new video out for you guys on Saturday. Feel free to comment a suggestion that you have for future videos, and I definitely always take you guys' suggestions into consideration. Um, I might even do another ranking video if I can find a cool ranking one on the tier ranker or tier maker website so yeah i'll see what i can find for a saturday video but yeah that's what i have for you guys i gotta show you guys stay positive stay nerdy in today's day and age please stay healthy and of course stay safe all right you guys bye